Attention Christians! Most of you will find Bible answers to be offensive. That's because it's a show designed to entertain intelligent people, which you are not. If you were searching for a video to tell you things that you would like to hear about the Bible, this is not it. In fact, Bible Answers will tell you things that you would not like to hear about the Bible, such as the truth. You should stop watching now, because this video is about to start a hilarious show that you will not find funny, because you are Christian and you suck. Faulty Breaks or Faulty Personality Everybody's favorite jackass, John Matthews, was involved in a one-car pileup when his 1989 Ford Festiva slammed into a tree. Police report that the vehicle's brakes appear to have been sabotaged. Not a big surprise, since John Matthews is not exactly the best at making friends. With minor cuts and bruises, the host of Bible Answers will be out this weekend. Gee, what a shame. It's my turn to host the show, bitches. Hello, and welcome to Bible Answers. This is a show asshole where you- Asshole calling, asshole calling. There's an asshole on the other end of the line. Answer where you call in with all your Bible questions and your Bible queries, and I try and answer them for you. Asshole calling, asshole calling. There's an asshole. Mm -hmm. Let's go ahead and take our very first call. Bible Answers, what's your question? Darren, what did you feed Miss Puss Puss last time? John, damn it, why do you always call me on the show? I just need to know what you fed Miss Puss Puss. Why are you asking me this? I fed your cat like a month ago. Jesus, John, how hard did you hit your head? Darren, I've got some bad news. Are you sitting down? Yes. Miss Puss Puss is pregnant. What the fuck does that have to do with what I fed her? I'm... I'm just trying to figure out how this happened. What? Oh. That's what they were doing. What? Who was doing, Darren? What are you talking about? Well, Jimmy came over when I was house-sitting, and he brought his cat with him. Mr. Big Balls. Mr. Big Balls? What kind of name is that? Well, what kind of name is Miss Puss Puss? It's a family name, Darren. Now what happened to my cat? Well, I think it's safe to say that Miss Puss Puss and Mr. Big Balls spent the night getting busy. Getting busy doing what? What they do? Are you serious? You, you, are you fucking with me? Darren, tell me what happened. They had sex, John. What? She's pregnant and she's having sex? Miss Puspus is a whore! What do I do, Darren? John, would you calm down? I can't calm down, Darren. Miss Puspus has been violated. She's a whore! She's a filthy, filthy whore! Bible Answers, what's your question? Darren, I just loved last week's episode. It was so classic the way you kept throwing beer cans at John. Yeah, I might have been a little drunk, but it happens. Well, I thought it was great. Anyway, I've got some more Bible plot holes for you. Sounds good. What do you got for me? Today's plot holes have to do with the story of Lot and the Bible's lack of understanding homosexuals and alcohol. Homosexuals and alcohol. What more could you possibly need for a good story? Please, continue. Okay, now we all know what happens in the story of Sodom and Gomorrah. A group of crazed homosexuals try to beat down Lot's door so that they can have sex with his male guests of honor. You know what's really messed up? I remember them teaching that fucked up story in Sunday school. That is messed up. And so was what happened next. Lot's solution to this problem was to offer the crowd two girls to have sex with. Now this is a crowd of a bunch of men, wanting to have sex with men. Why the fuck would you offer them girls? It seems the writer didn't understand how homosexuality works. True. That doesn't make any sense. Why would he offer them women to have sex with? I think we can both agree this is a very poorly written story. I agree. So that's the first plot hole in Lot's story. Now let's move on to another plot hole. This one has to do with possibly one of the most messed up stories in the Bible. Lot bangs his daughters. Alright, Terry Buckheimer's favorite story. Oh Jesus, that guy. Anyway, the story goes that his daughters got him so drunk that they were able to have sex with him and get pregnant by him. 
I'm going to go ahead and call bullshit on that one. Bullshit! <laughs> and here's why. Somehow, we're supposed to believe that he was so drunk, he didn't realize he was having sex with his daughters. This is a fine example of the writer not understanding how the effects of alcohol works. No matter how drunk you get, if you're still capable of having sex, then you also would be aware of who you're having sex with, at least at that time. You may forget the next day. The only thing we can conclude from this is that Lot was okay with having sex with his daughters. Gross! What the hell is wrong with this guy? That's your daughters, man! Exactly! It wouldn't be a plot hole if the Bible had just simply said that Lot was a pervert. But instead, it said he was righteous. Apparently that means having sex with your daughters. Wouldn't he have whiskey dick? I mean, if he was so drunk he didn't know what was going on, how'd he get it up? Right? Plus, the Bible says he got them both pregnant. So that means he got it up and got off twice. Somehow, while being so drunk, he didn't realize it was his daughter's. Any guy who's had sex when they're really drunk knows that this story is bullshit. Amen. Here's the only way the story would have made any sense. Lot pretended to be more drunk than he was because he wanted to have sex with his daughters. The end. I love it. You should do your own version of the Bible. Yeah, the finally makes sense version, where in the end it says, by the way, none of this is real. Well, that sounds good to me. Thanks for calling the show. Talk to you later, Dan. We're going to take a quick break. We'll be right back with more. Bible Answers. What does Terry Buckheimer look like? It's a question we all ask ourselves. You know who Terry is. Crazy Christian that calls John all the time. Usually about something sexual. I want to have a contest. This one's for the adults. I want to call it the Terry Picture Contest. Give us your drawings and pictures of what you think Terry looks like, especially in his armor of God. Send them in to the address on your screen, and in a couple weeks, I'll pick a winner and send him a really cool prize. One full tray of Jimmy's famous special brownies. Very special. Be sure and check out Bible Answers episode 21 for details on Terry's armor of God. And good luck. Welcome back to Bible Answers. Let's go ahead and take our next call. Hey! Is that who I think it is? What's up, bitches? Oh boy, it's Jesus! How's it going, Jesus? I'm staying sweet, like always. Well, that's good to hear. What brings you here today, Jesus? Darren, I've got a fucked up Bible story to tell you. It's so fucked up, you will fucking shit. You will fucking shit your pants as soon as you hear it. Wow, Jesus, that's kind of gross. It's a good thing I'm wearing my diaper. So what's it about? It's about getting drunk and getting naked. It's in Genesis 9, 20 through 27. Getting drunk and naked. Sounds like a good time to me. So here's what happened. After the flood, Noah's ass got drunk on some homemade wine, stripped down and got all naked in his tent. Then all of a sudden his youngest son walks in and sees his dad naked. Keep in mind Noah was over 600 years old, so it was probably gross. Oh. So then what happened? Well, then Noah's son went and told his two older brothers that their dad was all drunk and naked and shit. So they went and covered him up without looking at him, and he just stayed all passed out and shit-faced till morning. Damn! I gotta get a hold of some of Noah's wine. I know, right? Fuck! So anyway, Noah woke up the next day all pissed off because his son saw him naked, and guess what he did after that? Mmm, stop drinking? Nope. He turned his grandson into a slave. What? How the fuck does that make any sense? Noah wanted to punish his son for seeing him naked, although I think seeing him naked would be punishment enough. So since his son had a son of his own, he turned him into a slave. That makes 
no fucking sense. What are we supposed to learn from a piece of shit story like that? I told you it was a fucked up story. Anywho, I've got a party to get to, so I'll talk to you later, Darren. And remember, I want everyone to be saved, so you have to let me come inside you. <laughs> okay, bye! Bye, Jesus! We'll be right back. Welcome back to Bible Answers. Let's take one last call. Bible Answers, what's your question? Hi! <laughs> wait, 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 wait. You're not John Matthews. No, no I'm not, thankfully. You were going to prank him, weren't you? Uh, yeah, it's kind of our thing. <laughs> yeah. Nice. You know, I really liked it that time you got him to say Jesus had a boob. <laughs> yeah, yeah. <laughs> that was a classic. <laughs> and when you asked him if Jesus was hung like a horse. <laughs> You're so fucking stupid. Yeah. <laughs> well, I won't argue with that. So, what were you guys going to ask him this time? <laughs> we were going to ask him if God blows goats. That's a good question. <laughs> and then we were going to laugh at him and yell penis over and over until he hung up. <laughs> well, don't let me stop you. No prank call is complete without yelling penis. And to answer your question, yes, God blows goats. We'll be right back! Well, that's all the time we've got for today's show. I'd like to thank all my callers for calling in with their Bible questions and Bible queries. Viewers, today we learned Lots of pervert. Noah was a drunk ass bastard. And God blows goats. Be sure to tune in next Sunday and every Sunday, right here on Bible Answers. Jimmy, Jimmy, roll a blunt. Please.